Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up expiration policies for Microsoft Teams channels. So to preface this, I have created another video here which shows you how to restrict the creation of Teams channels to certain users within the organization. By default, you have and anybody has the ability to create a new Teams channel which subsequently creates a 365 group with a distro list that's associated with all the members. A Teams group also creates a SharePoint document library to house all the documents as well. So this can quickly get out of hand if just anybody is creating their own Teams channel, which is why I put that video together for restricting the creation of the channels to just one user. There is some pushback from others that say that in order to do that, you would have to give a lot of heads up to the end users and there would have to be a pretty formal policy of which you submit requests for creating new Teams channels and they would have to be pretty timely in order for users to comply with the settings that you put into place and not try to go for outside apps and get into some shadow IT. The other way to control and mitigate this sprawl of Teams channels would be really to set up expiration policies. So within Office 365, you can set up expiration policies for 365 groups and just know that is the back end to the Teams channels. So we can do this within the, the Teams environment here and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So within the 365 Admin Center, you can come down to Azure Active Directory and from here you can click on Azure Active Directory again go to groups and then go to expiration so I've created a custom policy here that I will go through with you here but you can set up custom policies and apply them to certain groups or all team channels if you really wanted to for the group lifetime this is when it's going to be reviewed by the owners so your time frame here it could be just a year it could be half a year it could be something that's custom but it's up to you to determine what that is. And this is the date in which they are activated and there is team activity. So if somebody enters into that team's channel and they post a message, that's considered activity and it will stay alive without any intervention for the next 30 days in this case as a custom policy. So with this, if you set this up every 30, 15, and one day prior to group expiration, the team's owner will get a notification saying, hey, is this, this is something that you want to renew? Go ahead and renew it in the Teams channel, and they'll get that update. If there's no owners, which in the case of Teams channels could happen, you could specify an admin in the account here as well, so that that person gets the email. The biggest thing here is it's going to delete, soft delete, quote unquote, the Teams channel and there's 30 days before it permanently deletes all the data within there. So the, the chat history, the files and folders, everything that was created and things like that. So you need to be careful with this for sure. But the good thing is, like I mentioned, it is based off of uh, activity in the account and I can link this below. Uh, so you guys can see that. So it's showing you how you can renew a Teams channel and auto renewal that's in the account and the expiration policies that apply. So it's saying, hey, to prevent accidental deletion, it's automatically enabled for a team in the group expiration policy. A team that has at least one channel visit from any team member before its expiration date is automatically renewed without any manual intervention from the team owner. So just take that uh, and note that it's something that you can set up, but you may want to select certain groups for this as well to test out originally that are a little bit older after a year, and you may want to do it at all. So it's automatically being reviewed. It's automatically sending out email notifications to the owners to look for inactivity and to expire used in old Teams channels. You'll still have to monitor. I still recommend monitoring the Teams channels every once in a while just because there still is going to be a lot of sprawl with minimal activity. But this is a good way to come in and actually automate a lot of that uh, audit process. That's everything I want to show you guys in this video. Feel free to comment below with any questions or comments. Otherwise, please like or subscribe if you want to see more content around Microsoft and Office 365. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.